Hello and welcome to our special Africa Cup of Nations show here on France 24 and another day of surprises. We'll be going through it all uh, with you uh, in the studio. Uh, with us is a Eurosport journalist, uh, Ruben Slatter. Thank you for being with us this evening. Pleasure. And we'll also be uh, joined uh, by France 24's uh, Justice Baidu in the Ivory Coast. Uh, let's get uh, you uh, started by running through all the scores uh, from today. Senegal kicked off their campaign uh, to defend their crown with a resounding 3-0 win against the Gambia. Five-time champions Cameroon were held to a one-all draw by Guinea and 2019 champions Algeria were held to a one-all draw also uh, by Angola. I'm going to turn to Ruben uh, for uh, this one. That match just finished uh, shortly ago. Uh, Angola getting uh, a penalty in the 68th minute to, to make it a uh, one apiece. Another surprise here. What happened for Algeria this evening? Well, to be fair, the first half was, was good from Algeria. There was a, fun, uh, a, a great goal from, uh, from Bounadja and he even scored maybe the goal of the tournament, but unfortunately he was offside. But uh, yeah, no, they could have been 2 0 up. And then the second half, Angola came back. There was this this penalty, which was for me a clear cut penalty. It was the same situation as with Egypt uh, yesterday. And yeah, they it was it was not fairly convincing. To be fair, the first half gave some good impressions, but yeah, it's maybe a bit the tournament of the surprises. We've seen it. There's now so many teams not winning their first game, so. It's a slow start, but I don't think uh, for Algeria it will be uh, a huge concern with uh, two games against uh, Burkina Faso and Ma Mauritania coming up. Well, we, we saw at the World Cup, obviously, in 2022, uh, people can go on uh, to win after losing their opening game. So all still to play for uh, with uh, Algeria. Uh, let's now move on uh, to the Senegal, uh, the holders, sorry, Senegal. The Lions of Taranga uh, kicked off their campaign to defend their title with a comfortable 3-0 uh, win against uh, the Gambia. Sadio Mane set up Pape Gué to get uh, them uh, to in the lead uh, just a few minutes after kickoff. Lamine Kamara then doubled Senegal's lead uh, with a low finish after half time and then curled in an absolute blue beauty to finish off their win in style. For more, let's uh, cross to our correspondent, Justice Baidu, uh, who uh, is in Ivory Coast and was at uh, that game. Uh, Justice, a perfect start for Senegal in their campaign to defend their title. What a really perfect start. Um, many people did expect that they would uh, cruise to this very comfortable win. Uh, but it was even more exciting watching them in, in you know, the telepathy in the team, the, the talent that they have. Uh, it's just amazing to watch. Uh, Gambia, they looked really promising from the start. They, they, it looked like they were going to be able to put up some sort of performance. This was an interesting match because, you know, these are two neighboring uh, countries, They're technically the same uh, people, uh, but very, very a lot of a lot at stake in between these two, and so it was really that the the, the 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 stadium was charged. They had so many people from both countries, and the game did take a turn at a point when Gambia had their red card right at the end of the first half, and so that really was a problem for them. And then once Senegal took charge of the game, they were in control right to the end, and it was almost impossible for Gambia to get back in. So yes, everybody did expect that Senegal would cruise to uh, an easy win, but it's, it's, it's almost surprising how perfectly they play, how, how you know, the telepathy between the team and how comfortably they get to do what they do. Mm, and, uh, of course, a big uh, contribution uh, to uh, Senegal's uh, dominance today it came from uh, Lamine Camara. He got uh, two goals at the young Mets midfielder uh, this uh, today. Uh, he's already making his mark. Yes, yes. Um, and it's, he's, he almost looks like um, a, 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 a goal can candidate for, for, for this tournament, uh, putting two goals in already in just one game, only 19 years old. Uh, his talent um, is, 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 is really great. And, and, you know, it also goes to show just the amount of talent that is available or at the disposal of the Senegalese team. You can take away the Sadio Manes, the Koulibaly, the Dua Mendes, but you can also have still have a lot of, they have a pool of young talent that they could draw from. Uh, like 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 this um, Lamine guy who 
who was also the best player when he, uh, Senegal won the under 20 African African uh, uh, Cup. So yes, you know, it, this is a really, really talented team and it really uh, it, it looks exciting to see what they can, how far they can go and what they can pull off in this tournament in defense of their title. Uh, they are looking to do what n not so many African uh, teams have been able to do. It's only uh, Egypt that has been able to win uh, this tournament and then win it back to back, to back again. And, and Senegal will be making that attempt uh, in this tournament. They will do. And as you touched on there, a lot of uh, young talent uh, uh, to be looking forward to. We can just listen now uh, to the manager, Alou Sissé, uh, who was uh, speaking about uh, one of those young stars earlier. Extraordinary. I can already imagine the newspaper's headlines for tomorrow with nothing but praise for him. I've said it before and I'll say it again. He's a young player and young players need time to grow. But beyond these two goals, it's his volume on the pitch. He really played like an experienced player and we're going to continue to protect him because we shouldn't tire him out too soon. The manager, Aliou Cissé, uh, just uh, talking about uh, Lamine uh, Kamara to France uh, 24 there. Justice Baidu in Ivory Coast. We will be crossing back to you uh, in a bit. Uh, back in the studio uh, to uh, Ruben. This was a good start for Senegal, though it has to be said this is the, the lowest ranked team in the tournament, so the Gambia. Yeah, but it's also the Gambia that was a surprising team in, uh, in Cameroon uh, two years ago. It's a derby. There was more at stake because they are so close as countries. And what uh, Justice says as well, we have that backbone with the famous names of Senegal. But the impressive thing is, compared to two years ago, is that there's a whole new generation already stepping up. We had a discussion yesterday with Jean, with Jean Emil about, uh, about teams like Ghana, about uh, Nigeria, and also today Cameroon, where they're not managing to get in a new generation where we still see players for uh, tournament after tournament. And when you have to get new talent in, Senegal is doing it perfectly. Also with a head coach at UCC, who was there now for more than 10 years. It's a real vision of the country and they are now rewarded with uh, an easy win in the first game. And we can also say, yeah, it is an easy win, but tell me which, when, which teams already they had, a, had an easy win in the first game. It's only Côte d'Ivoire and, and Senegal that confirmed their favorite status and all the others, they already had uh, stubborn uh, uh, opponents. I think uh, we also shouldn't underestimate uh, the Gambia, to be fair. I'm, I'm looking forward to what they will do because they, they showed interesting stuff today. And after the red card, OK, the game was over. But we will see. I think that's, uh, it's not the group of death for no reason. We will have some interesting games. We'll have to wait and see because obviously uh, they uh, had a, a very heroic run uh, last time round. We'll have to uh, wait and see. Let's uh, now move on to uh, what was the second match of the day. This Africa Cup Nations is really uh, continuing to produce a surprise result. Uh, and that uh, other one was Cameroon's one all draw against a uh, 10-man Guinea. Five-time champions were left stunned as uh, Guinea, who are ranked 80th in the world, uh, opened the scoring 10 minutes in. Thanks to Mohamed Bayo, Cameroon uh, salvaged a point, though, with an equaliser. For more on that game, let's cross uh, back to Justice uh, Baidu in the Ivory Coast. The Justice, it really was a uh, far-from-ideal uh, opening game for the Domitable Lions. Yes, um, I did say earlier that uh, the uh, Guinea-Cameroon game is, for me, uh, the most exciting game that I've seen uh, in, in yet in this tournament. It was exciting for many reasons. One, because uh, Guinea is just across the border from Ivory Coast, and so there's been a huge number yeah. of uh, supporters of Guinea who've been able to move into Ivory Coast and, and, and filled up the stadium. They were drumming and dancing right from the beginning to the end of the game. And Guinea, they got off to a, a great start, scoring under in just 10 minutes, and were almost going to uh, put up a very good show. Uh, a lot of people did expect expect that Cameroon, four-time AFCON winners, um, coming to this tournament many, many times as favourite, were going to be able to run away with the win. But that was not the case at all. Guinea did put up a real uh, good performance. They stringed uh, many great passes together, created very, very good uh, chances of their own until, uh, again, they had that red card coming their way and that sort of uh, put them back and and, 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 and took them um, back and, and they then decided to have to defend more in the game. 
um, Cameroon came strongly again and then did equalize and then was able to um, come back into the game. Looked like they were going to take charge and then go on to win. But the the huge support that Guinea had in the in the in the in the in the in the stadium, uh, I think, played a part in in you know putting pushing them and motivating them to ensure that they were able to hold on to to pull off uh, that one one draw. This. Uh, 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 group looks like a very very interesting group you know from the from the onset you might think that you know Senegal and then uh, maybe Cameroon would be the obvious to go through but if you look at the game that Guinea play today the sort of uh, um, compatibility in their team the sort of young talent that they also do have it's really going to be interesting the next round of games I do not think that it's the, the, the group it is done at all it's really really going to be interesting the next round of games and to see who and who would come out of this group but yeah Guinea did put up a real uh, performance uh, Cameroon of course a very very formidable strong team but they also did lack some sort of creativity up front and so couldn't create a lot of chances at all. They did have the issue of Onana coming flying in. He thought he was going to be able to uh, be in goal post for them today. That didn't happen for some reason. There seemed to be a lot of friction um, in the Cameroonian team and that didn't happen. So yet yeah, a lot of issues coming up but very interesting to see how the next round of matches go in this group. Uh, you stole the, right, the words right out of my uh, mouth for, uh, later on just this uh, with uh, some very big uh, stars uh, missing uh, for Cameroon uh, for today's uh, game. Justice Baidu in the Ivory Coast, uh, thank you very much. And let's uh, move on before we go, just to take a quick look at uh, Tuesday's uh, games in Group D. Burkina Faso will be facing Mauritania. It's the first time the pair are playing against each other at the Cuff Africa Cup of Nations. Tunisia kick off their campaign against Namibia in Group E and the Eagles of Carthage. Uh, the, and uh, Tunisia, uh, Mali, sorry, uh, face South Africa also uh, in uh, Group E. South Africa are back in the tournament after failing to qualify uh, last time round. So, uh, Ruben, lots to be looking forward uh, to uh, tomorrow. Let's uh, uh, start uh, with uh, Burkina Faso. They've been the semi-finalists semi at the last two uh, competitions uh, now. Uh, could we see them go a bit further in this competition? Well, they're the eternal uh, overperformance. We, we have seen it quite often. I, again, I, it's not the hardest group they have. We, uh, so, yeah, they, 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 they have, again, an opportunity to go far. What we know from Burkina Faso, it's, it's, it will always be a well-organized team. Uh, let's see how they do it, because now they're clearly the favorites. So this is a game they have to win against, uh, against Mauritania. And, well, it should, be, it, should, it should be okay. And then... Yeah, it depends also a bit who they will play in the next round with this whole system with 24 teams. You never know really who you're going to play, but if it will be a bit uh, a, a lucky draw, yeah, it, it, it could be. It could be. Semi-finals is maybe a bit ambitious, but we have seen uh, stranger things in the, in the Africa Cup of Nations. We have indeed seen stranger things. Uh, next up, uh, Tunisia, obviously the big uh, favourites uh, of their game. It should be a relatively uh, straightforward result, but we've already obviously seen a few shock uh, results so far, uh, which the coach, uh, Jahal Kadri, uh, has said that he is wary of the Nabiya. Yeah, well, I, I, normally you would say it would be a, a win for Tunisia, but, well, uh, again, we have only seen two of the, of the, of the favourites before every match winning their, their game, so... It, it, yeah, I, I, I'm just looking forward. I just hope what, what, what I really like about this, uh, about this tournament so far is that all the teams are really trying to play. If uh, we were talking before about, about Guinea against Cameroon, that's, it's fantastic that Guinea, also because of all those supporters, I think, but that they start like for 20 minutes, they were, uh, they were pushing Cameroon all over the field. It's, it's, it's incredible that a smaller nation is against the four times champion with so much confidence. Let's hope that Namibia will do the same against uh, Tunisia tomorrow. And then in the night, there will be the big match, of course, with, with Mali against, uh, against South Africa. Uh, and on that match, uh, Mali probably have the strongest squad they've had in a while. Quite a lot of quality uh, to be looking forward to. They got knocked out in the round of 16 last time rounds. They surely will be hoping to do better. Yeah, and, and again, they're in the group with, with Tunisia and there's a lot of history between the two because often it's Tunisia knocking out, knocking out Mali, as well, also be, uh, going to the, to the World Cup in Qatar. They didn't qualify. Yeah, Mali is the eternal, a bit underachiever, if I may, might say, because they have a, they have a strong team. 
there's a lot of potential. So yeah, maybe this will be this 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 year will be theirs. It could be. Also, really looking forward to South Africa because, as you said, they haven't been there for uh, they were they weren't there the last tournament. Another underachiever at Afcon. Yeah. So and 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 what we have seen uh, right now again, if also they both will realize that there's a real opportunity uh, going far in this tournament and 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 taking risks. Yeah, that's that's what we want to see, right? It is. It always makes uh, entertaining football for us all. Uh, if there's uh, risks and survives, uh, uh, surprises involved, uh, that's uh, it uh, for this evening. A big thank you uh, to Ruben in the studio with us and uh, thank you to Justice Baidu in at the Ivory Coast. And thank you for watching. Uh, tune in at the same time at 10 past 11 Paris time for all the latest from the Africa Cup of Nations. Goodbye for now.